have no teamwork, we're all to say. Love to walk and work all day, we're bright and shiny all day long. Come with us, you'll see Jim's got it all. We put together 24 of South Dakota's finest young people. We call them the Abner Team. They're simply outstanding. They have gone and crisscrossed South Dakota, knocking on 160,000 doors of people's homes, asking them to support Jim Abner. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Now that is taking your campaign to the people. I try to return home to South Dakota almost every weekend. I feel it's so important to stay in contact with the real world. When I come into a town and go down there Main Street, I know I am in the world. Food and gas takes it all. We don't leave people with some of the hard-earned money they've earned. To spend for themselves, this country is never going to get turned around. You get out of this fantasy land that you've been living in all week in Washington. Well, the cost of living has escalated so much, and it seems like we're taking home a lot less each week. This can be changed, because this is what I know that people want, and they're not getting from their government. And I want a part in seeing that change come about. The United States Senate is one of the places where it can happen and where we can do that. One of the things we're really concerned about is the possibility of home care when people can't completely take care of themselves and they need some help. But who wants to leave their old hometown? A lot of older people, they like to be by their families, they like to stay near their friends, and this is a good legislation. And I've got most of the members on the aging committee have gone along with it. I personally have legislation to allow our hospitals in the small towns throughout South Dakota to keep long-term care patients in their community. I'm no different than anyone else. I think I, I represent the way my people back home feel, because I feel the same way as they do. Oh, I'm one of the few actual dirt farmers that are serving down here in Washington and know what I'm talking about. What does keep a farmer going? We've had some tough years, but it seems like they've been getting tougher every year. Everything's went up tremendous in the last year and a half. Our fuel costs have over doubled. Interest costs uh, have went from 10 and a half to 12 percent a year ago to up to 18 percent this year. This has got to be one of the most difficult years that farmers had to try to operate under. You are a farmer. You understand what our problems are, and we need some new blood in Congress. That I'm going to put out a letter to all the members of Congress. And... I have always voted for a strong military, even knowing that it is expensive. I think that's what the people of South Dakota wanted me to do. What they have been witnessing over the last few years greatly disturbs them. The people of South Dakota want to see a strong America, a country that does not have to back down to any aggressor. It makes you realize what really America is all about and what faith in one another and respect for one another really amounts to. And that's, I think, what South Dakota is all about. Imagine the best senator for South Dakota. He'd be a man who knew agriculture from the ground up. That's Jim Abner. He'd be a man who understood that our paychecks were for us to spend, not for Washington to tax. That's Jim Abner. He'd be a man who votes for a stronger, safer America. That's Jim Abner. Most of all, he'd be a man who was one of us and proud of it, so that a part of Washington would always belong to the people of South Dakota. That's Jim Abner, a senator for South Dakota. From and for the people of South Dakota. Jim Abner for the Senate.